Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So my family and I decided to take a little trip to the Dominican Republic. It was kind of a shorter trip, but it was still a lot of fun as we did a lot of different things on the resort and off it. So if you enjoy seeing this little trip of ours, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe while you're at it, and I hope you enjoy what we did on our little trip to the Dominican Republic. The first thing that we did when we got to our hotel was we were transported by a little tram that went all around the hotel. And the reason why that is is because this place was absolutely massive. Like I'm talking it's a half mile walk just to get to the lobby from your hotel room. Not a bad thing. We actually got to see a little bit of the hotel before we actually, you know, got to our rooms, which was really cool to see. There were some ping pong tables, some bocce ball, um, this nice little gazebo area with a nice little uh, green lake there uh, it, it looked a lot nicer in person I promise but another thing that we got to see around the hotel were a lot of animals you can see some flamingos right there they were really cool and there's that big heron right there and here's some more footage of them they were just kind of chilling all over the hotel Lots of birds, um, I really did enjoy the, the heron and the flamingo, and of course a peacock for whatever reason. This was a really cool sight to see, I've never seen a peacock this close. Um, what else was there? We had some more peacocks of course, there were some female ones, um, some ducks. And, uh, and another peacock. There's a lot. There were a couple of peacocks here, which is really cool. And these huge iguanas. Like, I'm talking three feet long at least. They were absolutely ridiculous. Godzilla's cousin over here. But uh, here's uh, some footage of the pool. This was one of three pools that we could uh, go to at a... Uh, at our hotel. Now this was kind of like the party pool where a lot of the stuff was going on. There was a calm pool and a kids pool. Um, and here's some footage of the beach. Now this beach was really nice. The sand was really white, uh, the water was really blue, but the waves were really strong. Like I'm talking they will knock you over if you're not paying attention. And my dad had a really cool idea. He actually got a little bit of a walk up from the beach to the pool to kind of give you the perspective of, hey, what is it like just walking up to the pool after you're done at the beach? I know it's kind of silly the way I explained it, but I'm telling you, this, this hotel was really, really nice. Now, uh, I apologize for the lack in quality of our phones. Uh, you see, uh, most of us are an Android family, and well, if I'm not recording it on my phone, the quality can be a little trashy sometimes. But it still gives you a good perspective, I promise. This is still a good video. Please keep watching. Um, also, there was a kitty! There was a, there was a little kitty just chilling around in, in the, uh, the, the place where we eat at the cafeteria, which is actually kind of cool. There's this, mm, there's this cojones. Um, but there were a lot of shows at, uh, at this hotel, one of which was actually a Michael Jackson show. For some reason, Michael Jackson is very popular in the Dominican Republic. I'm not exactly sure why, but hey, I'm not complaining. I mean, I love me some Michael Jackson. And uh, I did not personally go to the show, but I did miss out because it did look really cool. I mean, this guy looks just like Michael Jackson. And of, of course, he's lip syncing, but his dance moves were really good. There was even like a little juggling show too, it was super fun. Um, but, you know, these shows were just there for entertainment every night. Uh, and, like I said, it, it was just a lot of fun to, to see some of them. Um, some were better than other, others, of course, but hey, you know, you can't really complain. At night, though, there are these turtles, right? These turtles, absolutely insane. They're like World War Z. They see you, and they start running up to you, and they start piling on. It was absolutely ridiculous. But, at the resort, speaking of entertainment, there were a lot of games that were going on during the day at the beach and at the pool. Now, this is my brother attempting to carry a bunch of glasses through uh, a kind of a little obstacle course. There he goes. Uh, he's going at it. Look at him, Speedy Gonzalez. Um, but his goal was to not drop any of the cups, and he did it in a really good time. I'm not sure if he won that one or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. And here's a little walk down the beach that we did. We could actually visit the other resorts, which was super cool. But, uh... Yeah, that was kind of cloudy that day, but it was still a really nice walk to the other resorts. Speaking of more games, though, there was a holding game that we did uh, where we had to hold a gallon of water 
as long as we can. Now, uh, this was kind of a pain in the in the butt there because after a while, it just hurts. Uh, but my brother and I, we made it really far. I think we were like the almost like the last two to make it. Um, which was really cool, and then I made it to semi-finals in this beer chugging competition. I swear to God, every single one of these vacations we go on, I have to chug beer. I hate beer, don't like it. But, there's also some other things to do at the resort, like this really sketchy golf course that, you know, we had to do at night, because why wouldn't we want to do it at night? Um, the golf course itself was actually really fun, but after a lot of wear and tear from the weather and such, it does get a little, uh, it does get a little hard to work with, uh, but hey, there's a lot of interesting critters that come out at night, like this lizard. I saw this and instantly thought of my lizard at home, Jorno. Um, but this dude was absolutely crazy. I loved him, so cool. Um, but the main thing that we did on our little trip here to Dominican Republic was we went on a little excursion that we uh, we got to do something called scuba do. Now here we are, like getting transported over to our little platform boat. Um, really nice water. Like it wasn't that it wasn't that difficult to swim in or anything. In fact, my mom and I got to snorkel a little bit before we uh, before we embarked on the scuba do. And um, there I am trying to feed the fish. They give you a bottle full of bread so you can feed the fish and then try to get some fun pictures. Um, but the scuba do is kind of like one of those deep sea diving helmets attached to a, a water moped. That's really how, that, that's the best way I can really describe it. It was really interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. I um, mean, there's my dad hopping out of the scuba do, and then I have footage of my mom going under. Um, you had to go underneath the dome, swim up, and then you're lowered down with the scuba do and once you're down there you're down there you are there and you are just going at it with you know your little scuba do and i actually got some footage of myself going into the scuba do as you can see you go into the water nice and calm and then what you do is you swim up under the dome and then you're in. You, you basically just sit down on this little water scooter and you are you are just exploring the ocean. It's a little different than your traditional scuba diving because um, you're just being propelled by this little scooter thing. But I actually got a little funny video. Here, take a look. Yo, what's up, MTV? Here I am in the Atlantic Ocean. Well, as you can see, there's not much here. We got to take lots of fun pictures while we were in the scuba do, and one thing that we got to do was actually hold this giant sea urchin. I was absolutely flabbergasted when I saw this, just because, you know, we were chilling in the ocean, doing whatever, hanging out with the fish, and then all of a sudden the diver kind of leaves me alone for a second, I'm like, oh, he must be like checking something out or whatever, and then he comes back with a sea urchin, and it's huge, it's absolutely huge. Thankfully, I don't think it's poisonous, otherwise he wouldn't have given it to me, but uh, it was still really cool, and here we are hopping out of the scuba do, um, super chill, like, it, the, the experience was really cool. You get a little claustrophobic after a while, but honestly, it's not uncomfortable in the slightest, um, and here I am struggling to get up onto the boat. But um, in the Dominican Republic, people love to dance, and well, our little tour guide, had uh, the idea to dance with my mom. It was really sweet, really fun, but um, she was a little motion sick because of the, the water. And actually the dancing helped her out a little bit, she said, so I'm glad to hear that. And then we were taken back in a glass bottom boat, which was super cool to see. Um, I love looking at turquoise, only turquoise and the occasional rock. It was so nice. But we also got to swim past the little dolphin enclosures where we saw one or two dolphins just kind of hanging out, doing their thing. It was still really cool. Um, but going back to the dancing, my brother and my mom were forced to dance another time when every day there was a new dancing lesson. And uh, well, it looks like they're just having so much fun. 
And uh, more games happened, of course. Uh, we had a little dart competition. There's my brother absolutely tearing it up. He won this round of the darts um, on that day. And well, you know, I had to tear it up as well. There I am hitting like, I don't know, two bullseyes just cause I'm that cool and sexy. Um, I also won this little dart competition here. There I am absolutely tearing it up. But, you know, we had to finish up this vlog with a little bit of a restaurant talk. There was a hibachi place, which was my absolute favorite. There are a lot of restaurants there on the hotel, uh, the resort. But uh, this one was probably my favorite just because hibachi is so fun. But yeah, that's really all there was to it. And there you have it. That was really just the entire trip summarized into one little short video. But like you saw, there was a lot of fun stuff that we did. I have no complaints, really. I mean, those all-inclusive resorts are very, very nice. Um, yeah, I hope this kind of inspires you guys for another little place to go to if you ever go on vacation. Um, you need your passport, so don't forget that. But if you guys enjoyed seeing this video, like I said before, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe while you're at it. And I will see you guys in the next one.